Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to learn chapter 6 periodic table and we're going to focus on 6.2 periodicity specifically on atomic and ionic size or radii. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to compare the size of atomic and ionic radius across the period and down the group and also compare them to the pit ion and anion. So atomic size or radius, a radii. The exact size of an atom is difficult to be defined because electron cloud has no definite boundary. So kita guna dia punya nucleus between two adjacent atom yang similar. Kita tengok tengah-tengah dia tu, itu kita panggil sebagai atomic radii. Ataupun size of atom. So atomic size depends on how strong the attraction between nucleus and valence electron yang hujung tu. Jadi, lagi kuat attraction dia, lagi kecil size dia. And vice versa. Now let's have a look what are the factors affecting atomic size. Yang pertama sekali adalah shielding effect ataupun screening effect in which electrons in the inner shell shield the electron in the outer shell from the attraction by nucleus. Jadi lagi banyak shell, lagi banyak shielding effect dihalang, maka lagi banyak shielding effect maka attraction between nucleus and valence electron jadi weaker. Bila attraction weaker maka size of atom menjadi semakin besar. So just remember n sus. Okay? Number of shell increase n period ataupun shell increase, shielding effect increase. Shielding effect increase as attraction between nucleus and valence electron becomes weaker. A kurang, maka size of atom S besar. N sus. Now, second factor is effective nuclear charge ataupun ZEF. Okay, ZEF ni adalah actual charge experienced by electron from the nucleus. Okay, electrons that is closer to nucleus experience stronger attraction sebab kurang shielding effect. Sementara yang lagi jauh daripada nucleus akan merasakan weaker attraction because more shielding effects. Okay, ZEF can be calculated using this formula. ZEF equals to Z minus S. Okay, in which ZEF adalah effective nuclear charge. Z adalah proton number, S adalah inner electrons. For example, kita tengok Na11 di sini. A1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S1. So, valence electron dekat luar. Selain daripada valence, semuanya dipanggil sebagai inner electron. Jadi, Z untuk Na di sini adalah okay, Z minus S. Proton number dia adalah 11 minus inner electron dia ada 10. So, 11 minus 10 equals to positive 1. Now let's have a look at chlorine 17. So kita buat dia punya electronic configuration and both border di sana. So valence electron adalah 3s2 3p5. So selain daripada itu adalah inner electrons. So zef for Cl atom di sini adalah 17 minus 10 which is positive 7. All right. So that means positive 1 is actually the actual zef yang experienced by valence electrons and for Cl atom the actual zef experienced by valence electron is positive 7. So, how does ZEF affect the size of atom? So, if we go, kita tengok lah, kalau Na plus 1, Mg plus 2, Al plus 3, and so on, sampai lah Ar plus 8. Kita tengok di sana, as proton number gets bigger, effective nuclear charge also increase. Okay, and then attraction between nucleus and valence electron gets stronger. So, size of atom getting smaller. So, ingat saja, P zas. Proton number increase, P. Effective nuclear charge increase, ZEF, Z. Attraction between nucleus and valence electrons stronger, A. And then size, kecil. So, PISAS. Now, let's have a look at the variation of atomic size down the group and across the period. So, down the group, kalau kita tengok, dia punya trend adalah semakin besar sebenarnya. And across the period, dia punya trend semakin kecil. So down the group, number of shell increase, shielding effect increase, attraction between nucleus and valence electron gets weaker. So the size of atom becomes bigger. So kalau kita ringkaskan dia, dia sebenarnya adalah n sas. So ingat, n besar, okay, shielding effects also increase, a decrease, size increase. Okay. So across the period, proton number increase, zef also increase. So attraction between nucleus and valence electrons gets stronger. So size of atom gets smaller. So kita boleh ringkaskan dia menjadi P zas. So proton number increase, zef increase, attraction increase, size smaller. So down the group boleh pakai N sas. And across the field boleh pakai P zas. So that's for atomic size. What about ionic size? Okay, period 3 saja kita tengok. So, kita ada Na, Mg, Al dan Si semua kat ion. Sementara P 
PS dengan CL adalah anion. Okay, so kalau kita tengok in general, anion lebih besar daripada cation. So mari kita tengok across period three. Okay, size of cation sebenarnya semakin kecil sebab proton number increase, Z also increase. So bila Z increase, maka attraction between nucleus and valence electron semakin kuat. Bila semakin kuat, maka size of cation tu semakin kecil. So we can use the factor of Pisas. Now let's have a look at kita anion pula. So P3 minus is bigger than S2 minus and bigger than Cl minus. So size of anion decrease because proton number increase, Z also increase, attraction between nucleus and valence electrons also increase maka size semakin kecil. So sekali lagi pakai pizzas. Now guys, in general kan, kat ion lebih kecil daripada N ion kan Mari kita tengok contoh ni Kenapa Si4 plus Smaller than P3 minus So basically sebab Kalau Si4 plus Ini dia punya ini N equal to 2 Kalau P3 minus N equal to 3 Maka P3 minus Has more shell Than Si4 plus Maka bila more shell Greater shielding effect Greater shielding effect Maka Weaker attraction Between nucleus and valence electron Bila weaker attraction Maka Size dia semakin besar Jadi that's why P Okay P3 minus Is bigger than S4 plus Okay So Kita pakai factor And sus di sini And always remember to use Electronic configuration as reference Tak kisahlah apa factor yang kamu pakai pun And sus kah? Pizzas kah? Alright Now let's compare between atom versus ion So atom is generally bigger than its corresponding cation ha, Atom yang neutral lebih besar daripada cation dia For example Na dengan Na plus Na lagi besar sebab Na dia ada 3 shell kalau Na+, plus, dia cuma ada dua shell saja. Jadi, faktor yang kita pakai di sini adalah n -sus. So, when number of shell increase, shielding effect increase, attraction between nucleus and valence electron decrease, maka size is bigger. So, more N, bigger size. Now, atom versus anion. So, atom, atom is smaller than its corresponding anion. Atom lebih kecil daripada dia punya anion. Contoh, Cl and Cl-. Okay, Cl, dia ada N equal to 3. Okay, Cl- minus N equal to 3 juga. So since n are the same, so we cannot use the factor of n sus. So let's check another factor. Let's try z pula. So kita kira z for both. Cl punya z, okay, formula dia z minus s. Cl punya z adalah 17 minus 10. So we should get positive 7. Betul? Okay, ingat tak? Dia punya inner electron ada 10. Sama juga. For Cl minus, okay. Dia punya proton number 17 juga So 17 minus 10 juga Jadi positive 7 So Z dia sama So we cannot use the factor of Pizzas in this case Jadi apa kita mau pakai ni? So here comes the special case When comparing atom dengan anion saja So in this case Beza The only beza antara Cl dengan Cl minus adalah Cl has 17 electrons While Cl minus has 18 electron Ada satu extra electrons kan? Lagi banyak elektron sebenarnya Lagi banyak A repulsion between electrons berlaku So kita panggil More mutual repulsions Between electrons So bila more mutual repulsion Lagi banyak repulsion Between electrons Maka attraction Between nucleus and valence Elektron tu terganggu tau Jadi dia semakin lemah Terganggu Jadi bila attraction Between nucleus and valence Elektron uh, Getting decrease Maka size of an ion Yang lebih baik elektron itu Semakin besar Daripada atomnya So kita boleh ringkaskan Di kepada E M A S A mass This is my tip So More electrons More mutual repulsions Weaker attraction Bigger size of an ion Compared to the atom A mass Let's do a recap for this topic So to compare size of atom or ion Okay, tidak kisah lapa First kali mesti write correct electron configuration Then kita check N dulu Kalau N tidak sama, pakai terus faktor N sus Siapa lagi banyak shell, lagi besar saiznya Kalau N dia sama, same period, same N Maka kita pakai Z, kita check Z Kalau dia punya Z tidak sama, maka pakailah faktor Pizzas Tetapi kalau Pizzas pun tidak boleh pakai Z dia sama, maka pakailah faktor emas Remember, don't skip these steps. Follow this step one by one, okay? Again, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Stay tuned for the next one.